Hello every folks, and welcome to a quick little explanation of the difference between uh, ranged and melee attacks. So first and foremost, um, this is kind of a bit of a setup for the next video that's going to be coming out, uh, which is the Know Your Unit on Archers. Um, but basically the idea here is to uh, kind of uh, get the general understanding that uh, melee, ranged, and magic will all be doing damage in different ways. So for example, uh, when it comes to uh, to melee, generally speaking, it's going to be effective against most things. It's going to have a pretty decent overall uh, kind of baseline, and uh, generally speaking, will uh, work against most enemy types. Not many things will outright resist it, and generally you're going to get pretty consistent damage. Uh, magic is essentially the ranged variant of this, uh, doing relatively consistent damage, but its overall baseline is essentially very close to its maximum. It doesn't exactly kind of scale up very much. And ranged is kind of uh, basically the wild child of the bunch, uh, going and essentially uh, scaling exceptionally well, but also being challenged by armor that much more. Um, essentially, it is, uh, it's the type of uh, weapon that's going to have by far the highest DPS, which again might contradict uh, what many folks believe about it, but um, essentially it's going to have the highest DPS but the worst armor penetration. So here's a practical example of this. So right here we have a case of a uh, guy running a uh, uh, running Dragon Slayer and running Tremendous Shot. If he targets this uh, dr uh, dragon over here with his Damascus bow, it's going to do 448, and if he attacks it with his uh, with his dagger, it's going to do 440. Uh, the overall attack values of these weapons are almost the same, and in general, it's going to be very similar. Uh, he's not doing anything that will essentially get him past this unit's defenses, because uh, when a unit is targeted by a ranged weapon, their defenses are also multiplied. So essentially, you need to find those cracks in the armor to get those big numbers. Uh, this is why they can uh, oftentimes uh, fluctuate pretty wildly. Uh, do we have any ice units on this map to... Okay, no. Uh, basically, in the early game, you can kind of just get around this by firing on units that either have low defense or uh, have a uh, an element that you're strong against. However... Take a look at uh, what happens right here if we then go ahead and apply a Breach to that same dragon. So nothing else has changed, he hasn't picked up any cards. If he attacks it with his, uh, with his dagger, his damage from Breach has gone up by about 300, give or take. But if we then target him with a bow, his damage has now gone, <laughs> gone up instead by about 900. Um, Essentially, what this translates to is just that ranged weapons scale dramatically better than melee ones. It's just a matter of setting up those defensive weaknesses. Now, I know I've made you know, different variants of this particular video before, but I wanted to show that, yes, you can essentially, you know, be throwing out uh, 1,200 plus damage with a, you know, Damascus bow over here. It's a perfectly uh, possible situation, but uh, again, they are very chaotically scaling. That's the thing they want to take away there. Um, it's not something like for your basic day-to-day -day charging in and kind of your first contact type of thing, 100% melee or magic is generally going to, uh, to prevail in that sense. But when you can create those openings, you're going to see dramatically higher DPS coming out of your ranged weapons. But again, this is all situational. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to make a short video to uh, hopefully uh, show this in more practical numbers. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Y'all have a good one. Take care, and I uh, will see you in the Archer video next.